What is going on guys, Brown here, welcome back to the F1 2020 My Team Career Mode here today for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix at, in Baku. We've the seen uh, that we started off with a durability upgrade because dur our uh, reliability is shocking. But I wanted to dedicate this episode to Murray Walker, obviously 97 passed away a couple of weeks ago. So dedicate this episode to him and let's hope we can get a good result try try and put as many of his quotes into this video as possible anyway we'll be back in a second after crofty's jumped her in uphill sprint as we start to circle around the old city then a 1.4 mile chase flat out through sector three towards the finish line Anthony Davidson, thanks for joining me once again for the Grand Prix. Let's talk about Brown. They're starting towards the back of the field today. The car is fast, so they'll be disappointed, won't they? It's not a nice feeling, I promise you. They've got a quick car underneath them, but they've got onto the grid today and they need a pair of binoculars to see the start lights. They'll be desperate for a good start to make up for some of that deficit. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Russell, Stroll, Sergio Perez and Verstappen, Albon, Ocon, Ricardo, and Carlos Sainz, Vettel, Leclerc, Daniel Kvyat and Gasly, Giovinazzi, Magnussen, Lando Norris and Brown, Latifi, De Vries, Ireland and Quan Yu Zhou. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. So it's back to reality then for this Grand Prix and as you can see there, we're going to start on the hard, go to the soft, I think that's quite aggressive to go, but anyway, Let's get into the race. One light, two light, three, four, five light. And we're going back here to Mercedes get away well. In the background, look at the Red Bull going right to the inside in the background. We're going to send it down the inside, one of our trademark dive bombs. Side by side, look at Lando Norris going round the outside of the Alfa Tauri. Two Mercedes sort themselves out at the start. We're going to go down the inside of the Alfa Tauri. Lando Norris around the outside of one of the Williams. So we head up towards turn, turn three. We're right in the back of the Ferrari. Look at Lando Norris. He's kind of getting boxed in. No, he can't go forward because of the Alfa Tauri. Can he go around the outside? They're side by side. I think it's the Williams. He's down the inside. Lando Norris is forced to back out. But can we get after the Ferraris? It's Vettel ahead of Leclerc. Can we have a look down into the castle section? Obviously, Leclerc hopefully is not stupid this year. As we hit the back of him, we tried to go down the inside. We got blocked off. And now we're going side by side. We're going to have to back out. Otherwise, there's going to be a massive amount of contact. We'd be in the wall. And we're going to send it down the inside again. But yet again, and now let's put us on the back foot because we've had such a tight line. And here comes the Alpha Tauri. Oh, I think it's Daniel Kvyat. As he's getting closer and closer and closer to the back of us. We shouldn't have gone for that dive on Charles Leclerc because now it could potentially cost us. We can't. We've run out of um, overtake deployment for this lap ERS. To the outside goes Kvyat. And we fend him off for now. Lando has got past um, the Williams. I think it was a Williams. And so now Kvyat in a brown GP sandwich. As here come the two Ferraris. Can Charles Leclerc get past Sebastian Vettel? He's right on the back of his teammate. He's going to go to the inside of his teammate. And he's going to send it down the inside of Sebastian Vettel, but Vettel gets a good exit off of turn one. They're going to side by side into turn two. Charles Leclerc has the inside line, but Vettel's not giving up. And now this has allowed us to get right in the back. We've done Charles Leclerc. What an exit we've got. We're going to do Sebastian Vettel. What a move. That is down the inside. We've got both Ferraris in the space of one straight. And that was like Lightning McQueen. And we went, got past one car, then 
sharply went to the right to get the other one. This is the replay. You can see both of them side by side. They give them each other such a bad exit. We get such a good launch off of turn two. And now we just sit in the um, DRS. We're going to switch very aggressively to the left. And we get Sebastian Vettel as well as Charles Leclerc as well. Now like up ahead, here we go, here goes, here we go then, we've been overtaken by Lewis Hamilton, one of the Mercedes, because they've pitted, we haven't, so there's not really much point us fighting him, because we kind of, we pulled away from the Ferraris and we were just in a world of our own, so it was a bit, oh was, look, there's a Red Bull, it's Alex Albon and the safety car's been deployed, what's happened there? We can see here slow motion. He's out. He's lost his tyre, I think he has. And that is awful for Alex Albon. He hasn't had the best of season. You can see how close he was and he's lost it on his own. And oh no, he's gone a bit. Oh no. And Lewis Hamilton, I think that is in the Mercedes, drives clean into the side of him. And one Red Bull of Alex Albon, as we can see here. Just gets absolutely waxed, and look at the tyre. The tyre's glitching. It somehow just it's, it's gone through the track. It's gone through the floor. It's a magical tyre as well. And here we go. You can see he just loses it on his own, and then this is the slowest slow motion, and then just drives back across the track from the momentum, turns sharply left, and then just gets hit by the Mercedes and his lifted into the air and is spun back round the other way look at the state of that tyre and into the barrier and that is a scary place to have a track obviously cars coming pretty much flat out through that section it was Bottas not Hamilton and look at that oh my god like temping bowling but the safety car is in this lap we didn't pick of course we're on the hard tyre but this might come back to bite us because we're going to have to get through everyone um, when we pit. Obviously, the grid's going to be put back up. But we are right on the back of Valtteri Bottas then. And we are look at us. We're trying to get temperature into the tyres. And we are just chilling. Obviously, Bottas is going to leave it to the last second. Otherwise, he's just going to get punch a giant hole in the air for everyone. We're sat right at the back of Bottas waiting for him to go and he has gone and now we're in the slipstream of Valtteri Bottas can we take the lead of the Grand Prix yes we can down the inside of Valtteri Bottas and now Bottas um he's coming into the pressure by the racing point of George Russell they're side by side George Russell really wants that Mercedes seat he probably deserves it especially in real life there's no is now coming up to turn two and now skipping on again George and um, Bottas coming back at George Russell and round the outside they're side by side now they can Bottas get, the, get an exit or will George get him back they've been side by side for so long but Bottas retains the lead Hamilton waiting in the wings but George is not giving up and he's going to go round the outside of Bottas just like he did in Sakir and what a move by the Englishman to get himself up into B2 and now George is after us and he has absolutely blitzed us our tyres are very old now the hard tyres but we're giving him a run for our, his money for deploying the ERS but George gets us anyway. And that was going to happen at some point. And now we're falling back into Bottas as George absolutely flies away. And oh, Bottas going for an ambitious move there. And now he's trying to go around the outside where Hamilton and Vettel came together in 2017. Then they're side by side into the last proper corner. We defend Bottas and now he's going to be on the back foot coming off the back of that corner. Now Lewis Hamilton is probably going to have a go here through the S section. He'll be punching a massive hole in the air. But we 
is closed back up to us because of the straight line speed. But look at Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton pulls to the inside. And Hamilton has got Bottas as Hamilton bails and goes into the pits. That's Valtteri Bottas goes into the pits. Lewis Hamilton takes P2. And Bottas, from the collision with Albon, has got a five second um, penalty. Which, of course, you have to serve at your pit stop. Because if you. Um, Unless you've already pitted, then it's added to your race time. Skipping on though, and we come into the pits to make our one and only stop on lap 20. We've got six laps to absolutely gun it. And just look at the way we're slipping down. Currently P8, P11. And we're going to go into the softs, of course. And now, can we get our way back through? Can we at least get a point? We're down into P13, and now we're going to send it already straight down the inside of the house of Afghani Joe. We beat Bottas out, of course, because of his five second time penalty. And now Guanyu Joe is going to hold up Bottas. Um, or is he? Because Bottas has already got him. Fair play, Valtteri. And now we're on the back of the Ferrari. It's like it was a few laps ago at the start of the race. We're side by side. We've got the Ferrari. And now heading into turn one. Next up the road, I believe, is a Williams. Out of the pits comes Esteban Ocon in his Renault. He's come out just behind um, Valtteri Bottas. And then the pitch is slowing down. He's got an engine problem. Esteban Ocon comes out of the pits. And what a way he couldn't have happened a couple of seconds ago when he was in the pits and he's out of the race he's slowing down he's got an engine an issue with that Renault engine and the safety car has been deployed and that is music to my ears because that has helped us out massively we're on the soft tyres we can the field's now bunched up and we're on much fresher tyres than everyone, and of course the soft tyres as well, as I mentioned a second ago. So we should have the pace to carve our way back through the field here. Let's look at this. George Russell leading Lewis Hamilton, then it's the, Ren um, the McLaren of Carlos Sainz. As we look back to try and find us, we're right on the back of the Williams of Nicholas Latifi. Um, in P10, some cars did pit, but can Williams, can Williams get our first points of the season, here we go, we're going to send in already, down the inside, we're going to get both Williams off Giovinazzi and Nicholas Latifi, we forced Giovinazzi out wide, and we've already got two positions, and can we even get a podium from this, who knows, it's Baku, it's Formula 1 at its best, here we go, on the back of Carlos Sainz to the inside and to the outside we sail around the outside of Carlos Sainz Carlos Sainz can't defend that we've got the gap down the inside of Sergio Perez then up ahead that is Daniel Ricciardo can we get Ricciardo we're gonna go to the inside like we did at the start with the two Ferraris down the inside and no we've hit Max Verstappen we've hit Max and he's spun and that's that's and everyone's crashed into each other as Max gets out the way. Esteban Ocon, look at this, we've just ruined Max Verstappen's race. He is not going to be happy on the radio. Here's a replay, we just carried way too much speed into that corner. We tap the back of the Red Bull and send him spinning. We can see here, go for the lunge on Ricardo, and we just tap the back of Max Verstappen's car and he cuts across and yes, um, Sergio Perez just gets blocked um, by the Red Bull and then it's just kind of duff 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 <laughs> in a way as everyone's braking and obviously the cars in front can't see so they're just going straight into the back of everyone causing a massive pile up and look at that Daniel Ricciardo tried to keep it down the inside but when right over the curb and look at this down the inside Sergio Perez had nowhere to go as he tries to keep it down our, um, down our inside we tap the back of Max 
and he just has nowhere to go so he's got to sit there and wait and now behind there comes everyone and Callum Eilert just crashes into the back of the look at the state of it wow as now here comes Lewis Hamilton for the race lead can he deny no he cannot as George Russell wins the Grand Prix from Lewis Hamilton and we after all of that chaos the safety car has saved us and we're gonna come home for P4 Here we are then, it's victory in Azerbaijan. Great work from the whole team here at the track and back at the factory as well. And some pretty handy driving for good measure. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? It was a question of right place, right time today. We were looking at an entirely different race before the safety car came out, but they were able to take full advantage after the field had been bunched up. Point team will be very happy with today's performance and the final result. Another display of excellent driving and excellent teamwork and a well-deserved first place finish. So it's a double podium for um, Racing Point, but this is how close it was between um, George and Lewis. You can see how close it was. That was the gap. Probably about the same as Max and Lewis was this weekend at the Bahrain Grand Prix. But look at that. Bottas really got hampered. Um, Haas getting their first points, Miserable day for Ferrari and we are being promoted up into P5 in the standings and wow what a race, we got very lucky there, without a doubt we got incredibly lucky there, we did not deserve to finish P4 at all, the safety car saved our race otherwise we probably would have finished like 8th or 9th because the field spread was so far. We beat Nick De Vries in our rivalry. Us and Lando doing all right. I don't really understand the acclaim thing. I'm not going to lie. I'm just focused on the driving and the racing in this career. We pick up um, all but one of our sponsor goals. We both take damage as well. But... We've got to sign a new sponsor. And which one will it be? Of course, there's quite a few. We've got to think about our position in the championship, of course. Um, it takes me a while to sign away through, but we are going to go with RGB, who I think we've been through before. But anyway, really hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you in Canada. <laughs> <laughs>